was really wonderful. And I have to say that it was a brilliant idea uh, from Jim Cameron to not only create this story for Terminator, Dark Fate, but also the idea of bringing Linda back. Because I thought that she adds so much to the film. And she's really the best badass woman in the world. There's no one that can play a, a badass like her. First of all, I don't get irritated often. Especially now that was something like that. I feel this is an honor that someone will want to repeat that line and have it repeated for them. And so when I do, you know, uh, speeches somewhere, uh, people always ask me, can you say this line or can you say that line? And that's one of the most common ones, is ask the Vista baby or say, I'll be back or get to the chopper or, you know, uh, I lied, I will kill you last and all this kind of stuff. I mean, there's all lines from the movies and I think it's great when people repeat those lines. Russia. I see, I pronounce it with a R. Uh, because right. I'm now because I'm European, so uh, Russia. That's true. Exactly. When you come and Yeah. I don't know what the perfect arc is, uh, because I, I always leave this up to the writers. You know, because somehow they create always another arc. So I was not worried about it that much. I mean, I did Terminator 2, uh, you know, did, uh, did we do enough or, 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 or not? I was hoping to do another Terminator. And I was hoping that for the rest of my life, I do every two, three years a Terminator in between all the other movies. And um, I, I just thought the Terminator was an interesting character and one can, if you have a creative writer, and at that point we only thought about Jim Cameron writing because he's really the best. And uh, he came up with two good ideas. I mean, imagine the first Terminator, I'm a killing machine. The second Terminator, I'm the savior. I'm the protector. I mean, how crazy is that? If you need to go and practice with the guns, it's a pleasure to practice because you know that you will be then perfect in front of the screen and in front of the camera. And uh, the same is with your performance. If you do it 20 times or 100 times uh, a scene over and over again, uh, or if you exercise and you have to train really hard for the stunts and for the action and all this stuff, there's nothing really that is too hard that makes you feel like that, at least to me, that makes me feel like that I don't want to do it again. It is a pleasure to step in front of the camera and to feel like if you act together, you know your scene, you know your character, and you're not worried about the stunts and the action and all this stuff. Mm -hmm.